Hello everyone, welcome to the section. So here we are going to discuss about IBM recruitment process. So first we will see about the company, then we'll move to our the selection process. So, so this is actually an American global technology business which is based in New York. And uh, uh, this is like a MNC only, multinational corporation that manufactures and uh, sells like computer parts like hardware, middleware, software. As well as it is also taking care of hosting and consulting services in a variety of fields like from mainframe computers to even nanotechnology. So this is all about the company and if you see the recruitment process uh, basically IBM recruitment process consists of four rounds. So four step of recruitment process. So these four assessments right it will assess the candidates technical knowledge as well as uh, like your analytical abilities. So we have cognitive ability assessment, then we have coding round, then we have technical round and HR round. So four rounds, right? So each of these rounds is an eliminative round only. So if only if you clear all the four rounds, you will get an offer letter from IBM. So first one, cognitive ability assessment, right? So this round is generally designed to uh, test your uh, cognitive ability. Like uh, uh, say for example, the shortcuts, right or uh, mm, like resemble the aim to create a recurred image from the given image after rotation and uh, num bubbles like uh, pop the bubbles to sum equals the target given and tally up so uh, like these are the sum of amusing games which you can uh, see like So this round may require you to join a Webex conference where a proctor like would be watching the candidates playing the games. So result of this round will be generally processed quickly because uh, within like uh, 30 minutes or one hour uh, you will get the uh, result of this particular round. So whether you have passed this round or uh, failed. So if you have passed this round you will move to the further rounds. If not uh, you will uh, not go to the second round. And uh, in the coding round so it is dynamic in nature so it can range from one coding question to four coding questions so uh, priori we can't confirm and tell okay this is the number of coding question which we can expect in this particular round so it varies right so it can range from one coding to four coding question and uh, the time allotted for solving them also varies to according to the number of question to be solved so generally uh, 30 to 45 minutes will be given for one to two questions so basically for one question you can take around 20 to 25 minutes approximately but based on the number of questions the timing will also change and this round will focus mainly on uh, testing the coding skills of the candidate or your knowledge on data structures and algorithms so you might uh, get questions from dsa only in this coding round so you can code in any programming languages so like c c plus plus java python so uh, the thing is how you can prepare is you should be very well prepared with data structures and algorithms and you should have a good amount of practice for these type of coding questions so so only then you will be able to finish it up within the certain time period right that's all and then the technical interview so here uh, candidates who are clearing the online assessment right they will be invited to the technical interview in person so this interview are used to highlight your uh, technical talent so which are usually particular to the position you are applying for so which position you are applying for based on the particular position you will get the technical interview question and uh, it will deal with stressful situations also so they will assess your uh, problem solving abilities and uh, uh, you might get questions regarding your projects as well so your previous projects or your professional experience uh, or what you did what technology you are using right how successful you are considering yourself so everything and uh, you can prepare yourself for learning the fundamentals of computer science also like uh, uh, computer fundamentals mcqs can also be expected it's like it's a theory part where you might get questions based on computer fundamentals as well and uh, you should be proficient in any one of the programming language it, it is not like you should uh, have a good knowledge in c plus plus or java any one language is enough and you can also expect questions from uh, object oriented programming uh, systems like oops concepts then dbms database management system computer networks computer organization and architecture and os operating systems so your performance in all the rounds like earlier rounds your job profile your experience 
and how you answered how you performed right so all these will influence the number of technical interviews you have so it is not like always you will be having technical only one technical interview it might get changes also based on your performance you may go to the next round also right so in most cases uh, each candidate will be having two rounds of technical interview you can expect and finally in hr interview uh, like uh, after clearing the technical interview you will be moved to the hr interview right so the main purpose of conducting this interview is to access the uh, candidate's personality so like your background your strength your shortcomings so in order to evaluate whether you will be fit for the particular position or not which you have applied right so as a result being well prepared for the hr interview is critical so based on your performance they will be uh, further uh, taking the procedure so they will assess your resume to make sure you have included all the personal information and uh, the data you provided should be correct it should be accurate to be the best of your knowledge and uh, they might also uh, ask questions based on the company like ibm's history or when the company was founded what and all its aim what is its objective uh, belief what is organizational structure so everything can be uh, asked so prepare to address any queries also like uh, that may be asked your resume like in your explanation explain your interest in the profession and what motivates uh, you the most so to help you prepare for job interview right uh, like uh, you might get some hr uh, round interview questions in their uh, official website itself where you will be able to see some sample interview questions so like uh, generally it will start with the tell me about yourself and uh, whether you will be uh, uh, what uh, willing to relocate then what do you want to achieve this position so what motivates you what is the reason behind joining ibm and uh, where can you see yourself after 5 years or 10 years and uh, tell me about your internship projects so how do you rate yourself so these are the sample uh, hr interview questions uh, you uh, can expect and similarly for technical interview questions you might get questions regarding ma uh, like major concepts of the oops concept in the context of c++ programming language or in the context of uh, uh, java or any other language or you might get question from uh, difference between function overloading and overriding so what are all the difference between those two and uh, what is function overriding what is a friend function what are the functions of an operating system all right and uh, differentiate between the primary memory and what is secondary memory and uh, what do you understand about the process and thread in the context of an operating system so you might get these type of questions uh, based on uh, uh, like not only operating system you might get questions from dvms computer network computer architecture and all these sort of things in the technical interview round so first cognitive ability assessment uh, you will be undergoing some game development like uh, game uh, you will be taking some games and uh, you will get the result as soon as possible and then you will move to the coding round so the number of coding question varies from 1 to 4 based on that the duration will also vary and the coding question will be from uh, data structures and algorithms so make sure you are uh, uh, good enough with dsa and then technical interview so here also basically the uh, questions and the number of interview will change according your performance and finally you will be having the hr interview round so this is all about uh, the selection process right so basically they will be uh, like a qualification of like uh, ibm is be btech me mtech mca msc and all so currently they are recruiting for 2023 batch pass out students and uh, the graduates like uh, eligibility criteria if you see any pg of b btech mba mca me or mtech uh, will be eligible and uh, you should not have any backlogs during the interview and one year of academic gap is acceptable not more than that and who are passing out in 2021 2022 and 2023 are eligible to apply and you should have the uh, a uh, percentage like a uh, 60 percentage or 60 gpa or above so this is all about the eligibility criteria and if it is coming to your college campus it will it might differ also so basically for off campus drives uh, this is the eligibility criteria 
so we have uh, discussed about the company then the selection process and the eligibility criteria and the role and if you want any further information about this particular recruitment process you can visit the official website that is ibm.com that's it people thank you all